Hello, hey, hi. This is a mess and this week has been nothing but falling back into routine. I don't think I've told you guys, um, but not like anyone cares really, but <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going on right now. And, um, <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Okay. Where do I begin? Where do I start? I'm going to speak really fast. And you're not going to know what the heck I'm talking about and what I mean. But yeah i'm gonna say since starting back up on the vlogs again not the podcast but the vlogs i'm gonna say that that was when my parents were out of the country and it was just me and my sister and we were you know living it up we were living la vida loca and at first I was a little nervous, but I was also like, I'm used to, you know, being alone in the house and whatnot. But I guess as I grew up and am a, an, an adult, I've become more aware of things and situations. And I've, and I've kind of mentioned this a little bit in um, the past vlog where I was like, hey you know i may seem like a normal person but did i come from a normal place no not really not technically so you know with them being out of the country and me being mature enough and like being even more self-aware of my environment and how i'm feeling and things like that i was like so this is what peace feels like so this is what I've been missing out on. So this is what could be. So this is what I imagine about when I live on my own. But I just automatically just put fear in there thinking I can't do it. But then actually like having that fear or anxiety or just the eggshells be like taken out of the equation. I was like, oh wait a second this this is doable this this is okay but then that also came into mind of like this is okay because I wasn't technically like full-on like the responsibilities of like household chores and 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 cooking and things like that that I'm a plus top-notch I am the trophy I that's my that's my field. I am a professional in that. Um, providing um, that financial stability is not in my forte. It is a given. <laughs> that sounds really cliche and really like, well, dang. And it just makes it even more confusing. But yeah, it's like... I have, I have been protected all of my life and and there is a part of me that's like I should be I'm questioning and I should be doing things on my own as well but also like I have lived my life how I've lived and I know where I'm comfortable and I know where I'm not comfortable and then I think that's what came into the play of being like hey I'm going to meet a rich man and he's going to provide a sustainable life and I'm going to provide the life, the the life of the party. He can be rich in wealth and I can be rich in abundance and just, you know, all those other things that money can't buy, period. So, yeah. So I was like, mm-hmm, that is that is a thing that I want and that I 
am looking for but not actively looking for but that is like on my that's on my radar like if you're not if that's not the benefit but i don't want to sorry like don't really see what use <laughs> i sound i sound like a spoiled person i sound like a poor and messed up and just should i just start over with what i'm saying i don't even know i'm literally just spewing out right now because <sighs> you guys i'm i think i'm coming to a revelation but i'm also like waiting for the huge wave to really knock me over and hit me so i can hit like a coral reef so that i can be like <laughs> and then be like <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy i need like a spiritual connection to be like whoosh, and then just be like karen this is what it needs to be this is what it has to be we are flooding you with the things now and i'm like is this for real or am i reading into all these things a little bit too much and it's kind of like really shocking to me and i i don't want to get a step ahead because when i get a step ahead it's like no you thought you knew but you don't know so calm down we know what we're doing just take a seat and just look and listen and i'm trying my best to be like look and listen without being like i'm gonna put my foot on the gas and be like okay that's it that's the destination that's where i'm going i'm saying a lot and i'm being very broad and it's making sense sort of but it's not completely making sense but i'm trying to show you the direction in which i'm like do you see what i'm seeing because uh, so here's the t here's the t t t e what if this whole time i've been trying to avoid the nine to five i've been trying to avoid you know the corporate worlds and being told what to do and and things like that what if that is that's where i need to go what if that's where i need to go to be like and now here we go karen you're about to be in for the craziest beeping ride of your I, it's, it's really, it's really crazy. Like when you're looking at something and there's just like, oh, but if you look at it this way, and if you look at it this way, and if you look at it this way, so many possibilities. And yeah, I'm like second guessing, but also like, but it's a possibility. I feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like Paul Atreides, but I feel a little bit like, Paul Atreides when he was like I see everything now I understand and it's a little bit also like Doctor Strange where he's like I see all of these outcomes but there is a way and I'm not saying that this is the way but I'm saying like I'm looking at the options and the thing that came to my mind first if it's in front of me i'm thinking about that i'm not thinking about anything else so and if i am thinking about anything else it will be in correlation with the thing that is in front of me with that is my focus i have like <laughs> severe tunnel vision so yeah it's hard because i'm in therapy <laughs> And I'm literally, I'm like, I don't want to be a part of the system. And I'm going to be my own boss. And I'm going to do my own thing. And, and I'm going to be creative. But then at the same time, coming from where I come from and growing up how I did. And with the trauma that I have, I am 
as much as I don't want to be a robot, I that's how I work. That is my forte, which is messed up, but also like it's good in some ways. Like it's messed up, but it's not not useful. It is very much useful. And that's where it comes to mind where it's like, it's useful if I allow it. So I have to be aware of like what I'm allowing and if I'm okay with that as well. Like you can, allowing myself to be used, but still kind of like taking some sort of control in a way, I don't know if I'm making sense, <laughs> but yeah, so the idea of being creative and all that is great. That is where I, that is where like a hidden side of me is like trying to like come out, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not too sure what it is and I'm not really good at being consistent in that way for me my creativity shines the most and just is just so good when it comes from like all that pent up inspiration and experience and momentum then that's when I really feel like oh my god this piece of work that I'm doing is chef's kiss and I love it but when I'm just like I don't know the water is feeling kind of shallow and it's been years and I I'm gonna be honest I'm not really feeling anything so it's really hard for me to feel motivated to 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 maintain that motivation and to maintain that inspiration and I'm already indecisive I'm already undiagnosed ADHD distracted and I have trauma on top of that so I'm just gonna be like second guessing second guessing second guessing second guessing and living and coming from that mindset of the lack of I I am tired and I have been on that side of I'm tired and you know beat these people who have it all and like how to be like them but not wanting to do what they did or yeah just like I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm saying I I'm I'm coming from this mindset of like, I've been poor, I grew up poor, and you know, I, I want to, I don't even know if I want to fight for the poor, but it's just like, I've been like, like beat the, the oppressioners because I'm tired of being oppressed, but it's also like, that mindset of like hey if you can't beat them join them but then that comes in like morals and like boundaries and what I want to allow and what I don't want to allow and what aligns with me as a person too because if I'm gonna make this my livelihood then I want to be confident in, in what I do like that is that's my mindset like I, I don't want to do anything that I'm like I don't care about it like if it doesn't if it doesn't have life and if it doesn't give me life then why am I putting my valuable time and energy and focus on those things so I've come to the point of being in this state of trying to figure out where I am with what I want out of life and I don't and what <laughs> my brain is like boop, gone I'm distracted because 
My mom's downstairs cooking and there's a lot of banging in the kitchen. What was I saying? Morals. Life. What I want out of life. And I feel like, I guess, I guess when I was younger, I wanted to have, I don't know. Yeah, more freedom. But now <laughs> that I'm in my quarter life, I am realizing that I personally don't think I can sustain that lifestyle that I think I want. And already looking at what I have already experienced or and getting a taste or even getting like a little peekaboo of what that life could be is daunting and even from that jump point like getting there is still i mean <laughs> it's it is really all on luck at that point so yeah a part of me is like have i given up but i think a part of me is like realizing mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh i want to say as a person as me in this human body and how i've been in my dna and in my like conditioning and and seasoned and ripped apart and traumatized um, being I'm like I I think I would want a more routine and I work well with routine by the way like I don't <laughs> I there's you know it's a two way street and I can't take up the whole street it's gonna be too much for me. I'm gonna burn out so fast. I know it. Like, just thinking about it, I'm like, girl, I will need to really, really kick it into high gear for me to then be like comfortable enough. And I'm saying this in mind that I need a team. <laughs> but, girl, I'm shy. I'm not that social and I don't know that many people. And even then, if I do network and socialize, my guard is up and I I will trust, but but my intuition and my me being how I am, it's it's a thick wall that it will take some time to break down and also being a person who has been living under a rock and has not a lot of experience with the outside world. It's gonna, it's like trust issue, but then also on top of that, naive. So it's like, even if I did let down that wall, she still wasn't thinking. And then that's gonna be another lesson for me to learn to be like, hey, and, and people are messed up too. So. <laughs> I'm not coming to the conclusion yet because I feel like I need to, one, read the rest of my human design thingy. Because in my podcast video when I was talking about it, I was like, oh my god, we are scratching the surface. Here's what it is. And it's so far true, but there's more to it and I need to go into more of the details. And I, and I copied it all down. I just need to like actually read it and highlight and go through it so there's that so that way I can like be for sure like does that resonate and is what I'm thinking right now aligns with that thing <laughs> uh, so um not yet conclusion I'm also waiting for like the solar eclipse to happen so that way I'm waiting for the universe to to drop a big block on my head to be like Doing. hello how many times I'm, how many times am I gonna say you know because I'm hard-headed because I am a dense human being living in the 3d 
so I'm thinking maybe I'll be, <laughs> maybe I'll be a receptionist. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll be a receptionist, you know. I, I, I know that if I put my mind to it, put my grind to it, I know that I can do and be anything that I want to be. I feel that for sure and for as long as I have like has have been thinking about my future. I was like, honestly, and if I could, I would. And if I wanted to, I would be up there. Um, but it's just all of like, yes, you can do all these things, but what is it that you want? And I have to like notebook Ryan Gosling myself and be like, is this what you want? I think there's an earthquake? Question mark? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> What's the point in anything? I, I am 100%. I am 1000% sure that we just had an earthquake. And I'm shook. I don't know if I'm shaking or if everything is still rumbling still. But I'm like... <laughs> So we're going to continue because I don't know what the heck else to do. Um, okay. <laughs> the world, the world is ending. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to continue because this is ridiculous. Like, I feel like that person who's like, how is like, we're going to be like, the world is ending. But then have to focus back on work and be like, but I got to send that email to Mark. Like, girl, what? <laughs> the way that we have been conditioned <laughs> and the way that we are as humans now, so unhealthy. I, I feel ashamed. I feel messed up. And the fact that I'm aware of this thinking is like, but what can I do? But where can I go from here? just continue I guess going about my business I don't know what to do <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> so anyways going back to thinking about <laughs> receptionist <sighs> I'm here to find me a man I'm here to find I'm here to learn. I'm here to get back out there into the real world because another thing, going to jury duty was not so bad. I, if it was a job, I'd do it. I will clock in every day and be like, give me the tea. Tell me the case. What is it? And let me, you know, decide from there. And if they were to do that and if they were offering that, girl, why aren't you? Because a lot of people are like, hey, there are some people who would do the job and there are people who wouldn't do the job. So why are you like, I don't know, forcing everyone? Anyways, that's just a little spiel. And just like, that just goes to show I, <laughs> it was not a, like you hear these stories it's, it's definitely for the people who love watching, like, crime. Like, court TV, crime things. It's definitely for those people. Um, what was I going to say? Being a part of an actual juror, jury group, and experiencing and, like, getting to know different people that I've never seen before coming from all different walks of life, and we're all coming together, and we're all sitting here, and we're all listening to this case it was not so bad but mind you like all all we had to do was just like sit there and listen so it wasn't like work on top of that but it was still like 
you know, the energy still had to be brought. We still had to show up. We still had to be there and be attentive and give our ear and give our judgment on um, the verdict and all that stuff. So it was really interesting experience. And it just made me realize, like, that and having my parents back now and just falling back into that routine I I see a clear difference and I'm like I've I ha I I have lived a good amount of time in my home in the environment that I grew up in I am well seasoned I'm over seasoned to the point where I'm like this is too much and being out there is a little bit more and that that mindset that feeding that breathing that being always surrounded in that type of energy at home on top of that is like just constantly on my mind and just like tainted my view of the outside world and then when I get to the outside world yeah sometimes there are crazy people and then sometimes there's just people and there's just life and when I have those moments where I where I experience life is when I'm like it's not so bad and then I have that like hey you know like there's beauty in all of this (sighs) yeah so I acknowledge everything that I have done that I have I don't I don't know what I'm saying anymore but I I I know now how much and how badly I need to get out of the house and it's not like a constant need to get out of the house like I am a homebody I if, if you invite me to a party I would rather be at home I will make friends, but I probably won't see you unless we, like, meet once a year or twice a year or live with each other. That's how often I will see you. We will conversate and text every now and then. But other than that, I I am, I am mostly to myself. And I just love observing the rest of the world. And yeah, I don't want to, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just saying a lot of things right now. I'm saying a lot of things right now. I'm still low-key shook that there's an earthquake that just happened and my hand is like, um, yeah, so... I'm thinking about being a receptionist. I don't know. Um, looking at the some of the criteria that some of these places are asking, I'm like, I can do those things, but also like, it's been a minute, so I, it might not be professional. But I will try my best to execute it as professionally and as well done as I can because if I'm doing a job, I will put my foot in it, I'll put my whole soul in it, and I will forget who I am and become that very thing. Which is like what scares me. But also like in my past jobs where I have been like I want to be so good and I want to be this and I want to be that and that fear of like they're gonna fire me any moment any day I'm terrible and also experiencing like people or customers really the retail industry customer service that's the toughest job ever and you think you have a hard job try that first and then and then we'll see so I, I want to move away from that. So I want to be more selective in the people that I meet. So hopefully that will definitely cut things a little bit more in my experience with with that. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. I'm trying to meet, I'm trying to meet 
<laughs> I'm trying to meet my rich husband who's passionate about what he does and who is CEO, hopefully, and who's a good person, you know, <laughs> who is a good person. Um, and I can tolerate that. Looks, girl, that's the least of it. Yeah. I can't believe we had an earthquake. I'm like, what the heck? And I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to get back into the workforce because we're getting back into the, into the talks. As I've said many, 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 many times before in the past years, you guys know, in all of my life updates where I'm like, hey, so I'm still taking care of my mom and my house and taking to uh, go to these appointments and I have to try to find a time for myself so I can do these creative things. But at the same time, I'm not getting paid. So it's really like, like I have to remember that I'm doing this for the joy and not for the money. But now I'm like, as I grow up, and in this economy and in this political climate that we are in, I have to change my attitude on that. And I know I tell my before I was like, money is evil. But now since watching Ellen DeGeneres show and there was this one time when Ali Wong was on the show and she was talking about how she doesn't like subscribing or like she uses other people's subscriptions to like Netflix or something. I don't know. I think you have to find the clip if they still have those things around. But she was saying something about how like she doesn't like spending money or something about her attitude towards money. But it was just like a small thing that she kind of just put in there. Like that wasn't the main part of what she was talking about. She was just saying like, and I do that because of this. And, you know, punchline joke. Like continue on with the story, punchline joke. And then Ellen was like, <laughs> But also, like, you know, taking note of what she said, like, oh, or like, you know, also what you're saying, what when you said that, try not to think about it like that. And like, you know, as as much as money can become an evil thing, it is a tool. So I've been like telling myself that I know money's not evil. I know it's a tool, but I'm just saying that and there's no thought behind it. I still have that deep root of like, money's ruined my family and it's ruined all these people's lives and you know all these things and if money didn't exist then maybe we would be so much happier and Loki still believed that if money didn't exist maybe maybe we could all be happier you know but I had to think of it more as a tool it is it is not everything because there are other things that is everything like the little things are everything to me and I'm sorry, girl, but money's not really one of them. Like, I don't know. Don't shoot me. That's just how I think as a person who have been, who has been oppressed, has been sheltered from that, like, I don't know, problem and just story in general. Either way, I it was going to be revealed to me. Either way, I was going to be subjected to those things so I could so this goes back to me being like I could either you know think of it as like beep this beep the system all that stuff or I could be like if you can't beat them join them but like not not technically that but also just like let me meet in the middle because I'm one person I am not the whole world and I I can't change everyone in the whole entire world, but I can curate and create my own. So this is how I want to do it. So yeah, so now I want to change that attitude of like, instead of being like, this is all I know, and I don't want to get to learn from your side now I'm like I want to educate myself and I want to understand what the hype is all about not in the not in the in the rich sense but in the sense of like not always being angry and being in that mindset of the lack of and yeah I don't I don't want to stay there because 
because I, I know and I see what it could be like if I stay in that mindset and if I stay in that position. It's not the life that I see for myself and it's definitely not a life that I want at the end of the day. So, yeah. So, so far, I'm looking at receptionist. I'm looking at office assistant. Um, I know that there's definitely other things, but right now, all I can think about is like this one place and I'm just like, should I or should I not? I don't know. I'm not technically qualified, but like I should still try anyway. And if I'm not qualified, then I'm not qualified and I can look somewhere else. And that's completely fine. So yeah, I have like a feeling and I feel it like in here, like deep in here. And it's just like, mm. and I'm just like, are you sure though? Are you sure? And a part of me, a little part of me, and I think it's because my therapist was like, hey, don't wait. Don't wait until the retrograde is over because, you know, if you're thinking about it, maybe you should do it. Because the kids, they're about to graduate soon from college and they're going to be like, roll out. Okay, now that we're done this part of life, time to get a job. And I'm going to be like on the behind again because I didn't get ahead. So I'm trying to like, I'm like slow but ahead and the slow but ahead at the same time. I'm the arrow revving up. <laughs> so I'm really like, are you sure? Because for so long I was like, this is my identity. Beat that. But now I'm like, don't knock it till you try it. And the universe is just sending signs. And she's just like, I don't know. What do you think? How are you feeling about this? And I'm like, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. It's just the some fear and definitely anxiety of like, can I do this? Because I, I know myself to be someone who's like, once I know I don't like it, then I'm out. It's as much as I take pride on that. It's still like annoying and embarrassing and just like, ugh in general because I, I have to rev myself up to take a step forward and then to realize like oh I don't like that and then take a step back it's like oh it's really a, a letdown and I learned something out of it for myself and what I experienced but it's like it's always like taking a step forward and taking a step back and and feeling like I'm going back to the square one again so yeah but I can't, there's, there's, I, looking back, I don't want to go back. So I really am like, this is a challenge for me to push through and, and hang on and definitely last for more than a year and really commit myself. And I'm, I'm really testing myself if I do this. And yeah, I'm really just like, the reward will be that I will have some form of independence. And then the other um, reward will be that I know that I can push myself and hang on tight as the winds are pushing. So... Yeah. Is there another earthquake coming? Oh my god, I don't know. The winds are scaring me. Okay. Um <laughs> Are is anyone else is anyone else feeling this way? It's really crazy because we had a lunar eclipse. We're in Mercury retrograde. We're in Aries season. So basically, girl, the new year is new yearing. She said, welcome to the new world, really, because it's now. It's right now. It's any day. It's any moment. So, and then the solar eclipse is coming up and just the energy and all of those things happening in real life and in the astrological world is really so many events, so crazy. And then we also have our own lives and our own worlds. So... It's really trying to fit yourself in a schedule here. And I'm really holding. 
I'm I'm holding on. I'm gritting my teeth. I'm really holding on tight here to be like, and now. And it's different for everyone. It's not like, okay, everyone in synchronicity, now. It's just me being like, now. And then my spirit guides being like, finally. Yes. All of our hard work leading up to this. And she's taking the will power, the action to do it. I feel like I'm preaching right now. But about what? I don't know. Anyways, it would it would be great if um I don't really ask for this, but I <laughs> I would love for anyone to leave a comment to be like, hey, I know how you're feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling it too. Or yeah. But I mean I know I'm not the only one feeling this way. Like energetically, I know people are feeling a certain way they're not feeling. Or they're, they're, they may not be in the same position that I am, but I know that everyone is feeling something because the eclipse season is potent and Aries season in general is just so fiery. So, and it's also Mercury retrograde. So it's like, you know, <laughs> miscommunication and technical difficulties. And yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot happening right now. Um... This is going to be a long video about nothing, but I hope I made it entertaining and yeah, <laughs> the way that the paths keep turning and curving and uh, it's really crazy. I shock myself and if you guys are really holding on to the story and identity of who I am, I'm sure you guys are shocked too, but also like, I guess this is life. This is life. And it's time to, I don't know, it's time for the leaf. It's time for the apple to fall away from the tree. It's time to blow away in the wind and really set sail and plant my own seed in the ground for once. Truly, like for real, like thinking as like an adult. And instead of being like, but I don't wanna, is now like, but if I want to get here, I, I have to. And it's really crazy. <sighs> I was so baby before, but now I'm like, and I want to get what I want. And you people are crazy. And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. And I really, you know, I really don't want to hurt my feelings either. But if I got to live, I got to live. I got to live for me too. I got to live for me too. <laughs> and that's on period. So, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I will see you next week after the solar eclipse. And we'll, we'll come to a decision then. I have to talk about my therapist about this. But we'll come to a decision then. Or, you know, get closer to that peak. I don't know. Okay, bird. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Uh,